so I tried this experiment that was recommended to me by Louise Fletcher, who I've taken a couple of different classes with, and I really enjoy this one. And um, so I've been exploring it a couple of times since the course. And it's essentially to choose a piece of music and then paint with that music, paint into that piece of music. You'll hear it in the background. This piece by Duke Ellington and other musicians called Fleurette Africain. I chose the materials and the paint color, the palette I was gonna work with first. And I taped off um, a large piece of paper that's actually the same size as that one you see in the background. I taped it off into six sections and then just painted over the tape. So at the end, I'll take the tape off. The idea was just really to play without judgment and without aim of of coming out with a painting in the end. And then with the music on loop, as I said, uh, as time went on, I did end up pausing the music and um, doing a little bit more thinking into how I wanted to work with the composition of the piece and whatnot. So it's do not done, but I just wanted to share this particular exercise with you. Here's what I got so far. You can hear the music now a little better. So, got just like different layers of collage, and it started with acrylic paint because painting fast like this, it's good to have paint that dries quickly. But as I moved on, I added a layer of wax, and oil paint is starting to come in. Sometimes I find it really distracting to have music going on in the background as background noise, but deliberately choosing a piece of music seems to be different. And the other thing that I'm wondering about is that I paint improvisationally for the most part. I've tried to bring planning into it, but as yet I tend to be less successful <laughs> With having a preconceived idea, I get too rigid and it, it makes me tighten up and then I judge everything and, and everything goes downhill. So I think there may be a connection between choosing improvisationally based music that is a little bit more, um, I don't know if ambient's the word, but less driving with a particular specific emotion or beat or rhythm which I find distracting so like songs with lyrics or songs with a very specifically upbeat or dancey kind of vibe I find make things difficult. <laughs> 